All right, hey guys, back A37 here. The uh, chances I've been are still operating a little bit of Dragon Age Origins recently. Looks like that quest. And uh, I just thought I'd give you guys some gameplay. I'm gonna turn my volume down. Of course, you won't be able to hear much of it. But uh, is there a master volume? Nope. Volume down slow. How that's dedication. Yeah, but um. I like how now on YouTube, by the way, you can post up to like 22 minute videos, there's no time limit as far as I know, I think you just post as much as you want. Um, you'll hear the music, but you won't hear it echo, because uh, word of dark spawn stragglers. I have no sign on. of the main so, uh, And when the maker fine. spoke, chant of light scattered in the darkness. Hmm. Word you ever wonder if that's an accurate ignorance. likeness of Andraste? Let those who cry out Maybe she was ugly. Come. Maybe she... I'll just turn on all the volume. It's a bit loud, because I can't even... Myself to talk. Um, hopefully, this commentary turns out okay. If not, I can always redo it. No big deal. Now, um, I'm not that far into the game. Uh, as you see, I got my four party members, and uh, very early on, just got my fourth. Um, so, yeah, now, as you guys know, you only see like one video a week from me. So, now, uh, hopefully, with this time cap, those one video a week will be about 20-30 minutes, which will definitely help us. Unless it's Black Ops, we'll watch any 30 minute gameplay for Black Ops. Um, so yeah, that's really understand. cool. Everything the quest. Is... Hello, uh, stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps. I would happily pay you to make them. There's wood and nails and other goods around the village in the forest. But... We already know that. Sorry. Come back if you make some. Okay. Well, actually, I actually don't have trap making, um, which is required for that, but I'm going to lie to her and just do it whenever I do get trap making. You got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <laughs> don't need blades right now. We need beds, food, and an end to all these sad sots. I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. I should have her bosom. You may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travelers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. I'll write all you need to know in this. Okay, well, she made an item. Oh. Scroll down my inventory, try to find it. By the way, if you guys don't enjoy the live carbon here just go ahead and uh, tell me and I will stop doing it if you guys of course want to see more Dragon Age I can always uh, sit through it and uh, play some more I don't know I've been really into this game it's very fun um gotta talk to this guy you want one of my captors I have nothing to say that would amuse you elf leave me in peace I'm in a cage am I not I've been placed here by the chantry I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. You mock me, or you show manners I have not come to expect in your lands. Though it matters little now, I will die soon enough. This is a proud and powerful creature, trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. Yes, <laughs> that's what I would have expected. That's funny. I suggest you leap into my fate. No doubt. What help do you seek? The Blight. Are you a Grey Warden then? Surprising. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. It's a pretty long conversation that long Not every legend is true. <sighs> Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance, it seems as likely to farewell them. Eaten alive by Darkspawn. That's cruel. I wonder why the revered mother is so afraid of it. Okay. So, uh, I gotta go do a quest. I think I will actually read the that quest. It seems very interesting. Change the journal. Oh, there I go. 
I need to find a way to reach Stan. You agreed to speak to the reverb by the hurt to see if you can get some release after where is she? <coughs> Sorry guys. Um <coughs> very sneezy today. I uh, apologize for that. I don't know where the reverb mother is. Let's talk to Morgan. Uh, find to out you. she doesn't anything. What do you wish of me? If you must. My mother has been hunted from time to time, yes. By Templar fools like Alistair, which should tell you how successful they generally were. Flemeth made a bit of a game of it, in fact. The Templars would come again, and she would look at me and smile and say that the fun was to begin once more. I found the game fun. I was too young to understand the truth behind what was happening. Flemeth would warn them once. It was a warning they inevitably failed to heed. And then the true game began. Often Flemeth would use me as bait. <laughs> a little girl to scream and run and lure the Templars deeper into the wilds and to their doom. Sometimes, eventually. Thankfully, the wilds is a vast place. Once they found us, Flemeth would simply move us elsewhere and we would be lost within the forest once again. I did not understand the danger we faced until I was much older. I had never heard of apostates or maleficarum. Perhaps they did. Still, I do not begrudge them doing what they believe. It may even be true. Still, those of us who prefer f an interesting answer for a mage. Enough of this talk. Let Whatever, I'm just trying to get on a good side. I don't really give a shit at this point. The conversation is way too long. Okay, so actually, I think I'm gonna just go to the forest. What are these guys doing here? Oh, mercenaries. Oh, there it goes. Tax out. I am your oh. By the way, I'm playing a like, healer class, so I'm not gonna. I mean, all I'll do is just fight with an attack. Yeah, I'll mainly just be healing Alistair, since he is a tank, and the dog, I guess. Oh, I don't know if I'm damage with the staff, I mean, I could. Uh, of course, attack with all my other spells, but the problem is that Danos are taking a lot of damage. I find that the problem is, uh, what was it? That I run out of mana really quickly if I do. I mean, I can spam all my spells as fast as I can, yeah, and then I'll be out of mana. And I guess I can do a missable, most likely. But, uh, it's a little more difficult to maintain. Them. Oh, okay, so we took down these guys. Like, the rest is just an easy fight with the archers. They can mess with It's gonna pop rejuvenation on them. Or get regeneration on Alice for a couple seconds. Alright, heal myself. Of course, yeah, you can say, oh, you have mana potions. Use, use those to, uh. Use those to help, you know, move your mana, but I don't really wanna. Realize. Only like little boss fights I use him. Okay, well he's dead. He's very much better. Quest updated. Oh, there's... Oh, okay, that's part of the quest. I have to kill two more groups of bandits. It's interesting. Let's just slaughter this one guy over here. And kill him. Well, just with one guy over, it's much easier to take on R2, I guess now. It's much easier to take on like a thousand. Pop regeneration and I'll still be fine. If you guys want me to do like more house or perspective or something, just go ahead and tell me. So probably be a little more interesting. Uh, I just like watching these battles play out for some modes, you know, like that. Or the way I do, just like this. It's not too big of a deal. I am done with that one. Ooh. Oh. Oh, yeah, any of it. That's pretty nice. Okay, so we still got this bandit army here. Um, Victory shall 
So what I did there is I paused the game. I told them to, to go and attack first because they're tanks, which means that they can take more damage than say me the healer or her or Morgan the mage. You know, it just doesn't really it's a little harder for them to take the damage and not die, and a little harder on me to kill uh, her and me. So like, these guys go first, and then we'll come in afterwards. Of course, we'll get spam spells like crazy. Just, like, well, that's her staff spell. You don't want to read your staff, actually. If you haven't noticed, it shoots out. Oh, nice. Alright, there we go. One more group of bandits to kill. Can I, uh, this should be easy can't enough. unlock that, Let's so I'll just started. go for the sack. And the sack has a barbarian mace. Five damage. I'm going to use that. I wonder if my dog can use a weapon. No, but I can... I can feed it. I did all can also use potions, that's funny. <clears throat> yeah, I like the blood graphics here because the blood doesn't really go away and as you can see my phone's all bloodied up. Except for uh, they're bloodied up because they're in close combat and we aren't mean that Morgan because you know, obviously blood doesn't fly across the map, you know, it's just that's only if you're close by, which is a really good animation on their part. They did a good job on it. I haven't, uh, haven't seen that in a game before. But anyway, here we got an elf fruit. I think this bandit camp right yeah there they are. Those that's Sandal. Um I haven't heard that name before. I have to do it for can't do him for a quest. Well, if I have to kill him or something or talk to him, or whatever. Oh, dark spawner right here. And of course, they always go after me. Just the mage guys. Now he's coming first. Whoa! Oh, he's not. Let's just fire. That was me using my spells, which is probably a bit more interesting to watch. But there we go, we saved these little guys. Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Grey wards. Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offense, but I suspect there's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? I wonder if I can sell things to them. We'll be off as soon as this mess is cleaned up. Thank you, Connor. Guess not yet. I need someone to sell my stuff to. I have of shit. I like that. But, uh... So can't have it. Hmm, a blood mage. Of course, a blood mage is exactly what it sounds like. It's a mage that uses its own blood for uh, special powers. Which is kind of cool. Oh, yes, I do. <sighs> uh, commentaries in the afternoon. Always uh, very exciting. Again, for like, I know I've said this for like the 17th time. If you guys don't want to see this, just tell me. Ooh, nice cinematic. Let's watch this. Let's watch this. Let's watch this. Dreams, huh? Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to 
to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. That's what I'm here for. To deliver unpleasant news and witty one-liners. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Anyway. <clears throat> what did I want to say? Where's my whole entire party? Okay, I guess they're all over the place. Um, yeah, what I was saying. So the Grey Wardens, they are uh, protectors of this land. They, What you have to do for your mission is you had... Um, you have to kill seven dark spawn, which are the guys that just fought uh, attacking Sandal and the other guys. Uh, basically, orcs in armor. It's kind of what they look like. And, um, uh, you have to drink their blood for the main quest, and that turned you, basically, not into one of them, but it kind of gave you, like, you can sense when they're near, and you can, uh, have dreams like they do, so you're basically, in a sense, turning into one of them, but you still remain human. And that's one of the Grey Warden rituals, and, uh, because you're Grey Warden, you sworn to protect the land from the Darkspawn, and blah blah blah, and the Darkspawn are gonna kill us all. Uh, anyway. You're a hard woman to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins? Levy the trader? Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, at that. What I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. My family... Well, past a bit checkered, to see. Nobles look at us with disdain. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last warden commander of Ferelden back when the wardens were known as freeloaders. So King Olden banished the wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Duncan wanted to reclaim the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak, and perhaps we'll uncover evidence to restore my family's honor along the way. Nobody's been to Soldier's Peak since the Grey Wardens were banished, but I found a way. They say it's haunted, and it's certainly dangerous. Will you help me? Uh, download new content. Give me a moment, and I'll help. <laughs> oh, option's funny. Soldier's Peak is strategic. He also hoped to recover lost Warden history. And... I guess I can't do it because I don't have the DLC. Which is unfortunate. Ah, it's good to see you, my <clears throat> timely rescuer. Bodon Fennec, that's your... I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine dip. Thank you. Great. Well, uh, the boy's a bit whoa, simple, whoa, whoa, whoa. he's rather good with enchantment. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now I can sell things to this asshole. Okay. <clears throat> need that, need that. Wait, do I need that? No. Hell no. Okay, I guess I'll keep that since it's astoundingly difficult to find. I just want to sell all this stuff. Damn. this that's pretty expensive and it's really good apparently um oh, I'd like to see something where's that shield you can't use it yet and it's in, no it's not really better than this I mean yeah you get more missile deflection force power resistance. Nah. 
I think I'll sell it. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. Okay, anyway, I can sell it. No, I'm gonna sell all the stuff, it's pretty useless actually. I don't really need it. I mean, people are gonna be watching this, they're gonna be like, oh, well, you should have kept it because it's really awesome or whatever. I'm like, I don't really care. You know? I'm not gonna use it. I just want my money. I know that I'm gonna spend much of it anyways. There we go, nine gold. That's just as long as your World of Warcraft. Uh, let's look at his staffs. Okay, that's eight gold. That's an eight gold staff. Holy anger. Um, okay, so it does less damage. It has a better penetration, a little bit better range, two more spell power. Um, more nature is nope, not worth the money. about those the backpack inventory capacity by 10 I don't know what I need I'm just gonna sell to you whenever I get shit oh, I'm pretty much set to go nothing too important Indeed. Yes. I guess this is your party screen where you get to choose oh it's pretty awesome Yes. Why is there another party member I can get here or something? Yeah, I have been mislucky. Enchantment? Enchantment! God, is that like the only word he knows? Enchantment! 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 Like, holy nigger. Sorry for the niggers, but that's ridiculous. here I don't really see why we have to choose uh, whatever I'll just go on ahead with my party of death yes yes I need to go here Okay, I find nothing on the way. Yeah, like the hinterlands. It's exactly like World of Warcraft. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna cut this video off right now. It's been like 20 minutes or something. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's been, but I will cut it off right now. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Um, if you guys want to see more, go ahead and tell me. If you guys want to see anything else, go ahead and tell me that too. After the cinematic, uh, I will be done. Look, can Hope we you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. Well, uh, let's see. How do I tell you this? We're almost at Redcliffe. Did I say how I know Arl Eamon exactly? I'm a bastard. My mother was a serving girl at Redcliffe Castle, and she died when I was born. Arl Eamon took me in and raised me before I was sent to the Chantry. The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marek, which made Kaelin my half-brother, I suppose. Maker's breath, I hope not. I don't think so. You don't think so, do you? I'm a bastard. And, and nobody even knows about me. I, I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. 
I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaelin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. Oh, good. I'm glad. It's not like I got special treatment for it anyhow. Al Eamon eventually married a young woman from Orlais, despite all the problems it caused with the king so soon after the war. He loved her a great deal. Anyway, the new Arlesa resented the rumors which pegged me. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age 10. Just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. She may have, but I think it's more likely that she feared the rumors might be true. I can't blame her for that. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall. And it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The owl came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually, he just stopped coming. And raised by dogs. Or I may as well have been the way I acted. But maybe all young bastards act like that. I don't know. All I know is that the Arl is a good man and well-loved by the people. He also was King Kaelin's uncle, so... So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. Oh, lovely. I'm going to regret this. Somehow I just know it.